Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Nicole Chantel. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. So today's video is going to be what's new at Sephora. So this line launched on Sephora's website just after the VIP sale and I was like, oh my goodness, this looks really pretty. Why not buy some and test it and see what it's like? And the company that I'm talking about is called Pretty Vulgar. Really impressed with the packaging. I did go ahead and buy quite a few products from this line and I'm going to show you how I created this look. And with that being said, let's just jump right into this video. Okay, so I already have my eyelid primed and everything, like I used my NARS um, Pro Primer. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, I used that, and of course I applied the Shadow Shield. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use the Pretty Vulgar Early Bird Eyeshadow Palette. And there's very little fallout. Really nice transition color I find with this shade. Really pretty. So for this eye, I did use the On Point Eyeliner, which is like the style of an old-fashioned ink pen, which I think is a really cute cover. Um, when you take it off, it's like a teardrop shape. As I was applying this to my eye, as you could tell, my wing is not the greatest, and I even had that shadow shield on for a guide. I did find that it was starting to run out like really quick of the ink, and I only opened it today, so that is not good at all, and I really don't like how it did my wing. Not really impressed with this one. Now, on the other side of my eye, I did use the eyeliner that's in this little tiny container, like the Old Fashioned Ink bottle, and I also purchased the little brush to go with it, so on this end, you have a real fine tip, and then on this end, it's like going on an angle. And I did find that it glided on really beautiful, really gorgeous, super pigmented, really easy to do with the shadow shields on. Now, if you're really not used to using eyeliner such as this, then I don't really recommend it. But if you are, definitely get it because it is beautiful. So like I said about the On Point Eyeliner, I will be returning this to Sephora. You know, the package idea is fantastic. I love it, the vintage feel to it. but. It just didn't work on my eye like I just could not get it to work on my eye but for this one here I definitely love it it went down so smooth gorgeous um, really disappointed because I thought that it was going to be really pigmented I thought that it was going to apply really nice and easy and when I was applying it it was like the tip of it is almost like flimsy like it was moving a lot and yeah, I'm just really not impressed with this product. But like I said, this one, definitely love it with the brush because it just makes it such like a beautiful application. So that was definitely well worth it. Now for the eyeshadow palette, um, 
This one here is the early bird and gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. The colors in here are really beautiful. Now they do have um, two other eyeshadow palettes, but they're like really, really bold and I'm not into the bold colors. I really like more neutral tones, everyday tones that you could always wear because I find that when I go ahead and I purchase makeup, I go for makeup that I gravitate towards that I know that I'm going to use because really I don't see the point in buying something that you're not going to use. It's just a waste of money. It's going to sit there. No point in having it. But I really, really love this. Beautiful for the summertime. Just a really all around nice natural palette. Nice size mirror which is really nice as well. I'm going to insert swatches of all these shades here for you guys because I did not use all of them today on my eyes. And just to show you what they look like. So I went ahead and I turned down my ring light so you guys could really pick up on the colors. I have to say that they're shimmer shades, like a few of the brown ones are really, really pigmented. The matte ones are just really, really subtle. And of course, you're really not going to pick up because where I'm so pale, you're not going to pick up the two paler shades, which are really nice for highlight. But they are super pigmented, really nice. I will have to say though, with the matte shades, I did find that you'd have to apply it to build it up to really get that color. But they're shimmer shades. These are just like one swatch that's super, super pigmented. Really good payoff there. And I'm just wishing that the lighter shades here, these two here, would really pick up. But where I'm so pale, unfortunately, it's not really going to pick it up. But the rest of the shades are absolutely gorgeous. And I know that might not have been the best swatches in the world, but at least you guys really got to see what it looked like with the ring light turned down low, so you could really get the true colors of the eyeshadows. So all in all, I really do like this eyeshadow palette. I think it's absolutely beautiful, really gorgeous. Definitely go on Sephora online and take a look at the other ones, especially if you are into the bold colors. They do look really pretty. If you guys do happen to purchase this palette or any of the other two palettes, let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you think of the color payoff of the bold ones. Now for the mascara. Mascara, gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. Beautiful packaging, really, really nice and heavy. I do love the wand on this. This is a real nice thick wand. Um, I did find that it didn't really clump my lashes, but it almost didn't really make them thick. It kind of gave them a thin looking effect. Um, which I don't mind because it really made them come out really nice and even, no clumpiness, no flakiness, really nice and light on the eyes. So I do love this. Now for the lipstick because you all know that I'm a lipstick fanatic. I really love this lipstick. This one here is called Baby Doll Against BS, <laughs> um, which I think their names are so unique. Um, which is really nice. Love this and they say that this is a matte lipstick, I do believe. Yes, it is a matte lipstick. It really doesn't feel matte on my lips. It's a really creamy matte and I love this color. It's really comfortable on the lips. Like it absolutely feels like I'm wearing nothing. So definitely check out the matte lipsticks. Super creamy. Really love this and love how pigmented it is. Loved how easy it glided on my lips. I just really love the color payoff and the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Now for this and I'm sure you're all waiting for it and this is the Pretty Vulgar setting spray and this is called the Lock It In setting spray and of course it's like in the old-fashioned perfume bottle that all of our grandparents had, or grandmas I should say. Um, I really, really like this setting spray. When I sprayed it on my face, um, it came out really nice and even. Like, of course you're not going to be able to see it on camera, but it like misted my whole entire face at once, which was really nice. Now there is a bit of a smell with this one. It almost smells like um, baby powder, but it doesn't linger. Like after I sprayed it on my face and I had to go out and run some errands and I was outside and I found that within like a minute the smell was gone but it really really locked in my makeup it made it look really gorgeous now I did read online that you could go ahead and you could spray your brush and you could dip your highlighter your eyeshadows so it's multi-use like normal uh, but I will just be using this as setting spray because you know I don't like multi-use products so all in all, I'm really impressed with the brand Pretty Vulgar. But 
that eyeliner will definitely be going back to Sephora today. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can find me on Instagram at NicoleChantel32 where I post pictures every day of the week and on Snapchat at NCP34. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!